Hi everyone, Sanjeev here. Um, today I'm sitting with uh, one of my close friend and uh, our client uh, who have bought uh, three properties in the last two years and they're going to buy their fourth property in the next couple of months. So um, I thought I'll have a chat with them to share the experience and what was going in their life so that might, might help someone uh, who are looking to get on a similar path to looking to invest in property or building a property portfolio. So, you know, um, so yeah, here we have. So, welcome, Aviram and Pavitra. Thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you, Sanjeev. Pleasure yeah. is ours. <laughs> now, thank you. Thank you for your time and uh, no, joining this for ch uh, chat uh, so that I'm sure uh, our conversation will help someone, uh, you know, um, in a similar journey or uh, looking to get in this uh, on the property investment path. So, um, I know you both live in Sydney um, and work in IT profession. So, and of course, we are good friends as well. But then, two years ago, uh, we I know, bought your first property, and then I can see that now you're going aggressive and buying more properties. Um, so, um, do you want to talk about uh, you know a bit of a background and what was going through two years ago when you bought um, uh, one property through us? Uh, I know. I know. Before you had already one investment property here in Sydney. Yeah. So, uh, what was going and know what what triggered what change and how you you're going aggressively. So, do you want to share? <clears throat> sure. So, uh, people who know us, um, people uh, uh, who are our friends know our mind and heart is back in India. Uh, so we always have plans of going back to India. So we started off with investing or getting our base right in India. Um, and then we both are citizens here. Australia is a beautiful country. We wanted to invest here. And that's when we started uh, looking out for options for investment. Then we went for our first property um, without much knowledge. That's our apartment. And then we stopped for three years. We didn't know what to do. Um, and we know you, Sanjeev. You're uh, doing so well uh, in investment uh, investors' dream. So that's when we approached you for our first property. And yeah, now we are at three and I'm sure I'm not going to stop for that. No, thank you. Thank you for taking action. I think, you know, um, so, um, you know, a lot, a lot of people uh, think that uh, there's always a limiting belief, you know, um, that um, you can buy four or five properties. Yeah. I know you have a um, few properties back in India as well. Yeah. Uh, I know now. Um, uh, three properties I know recently you sold your apartment as well yeah. so well done on that thank you um, and uh, I know we're gonna buy fourth property now a lot of people I see still like you know because you know I, I talked to a lot of people who are looking to invest in property but then they say well oh, can I buy this kind of properties uh, I know in Australia I think 90% of the investors get only one investment property okay. so you know um, so so what do you have to say when you know, when people think um, you know like oh we can't buy more or no it's it's a lot of belief thing you know it's not about the money right. um, so what do you have to say like when you started working with initially did you thought like you can buy three properties in two years time so do you want to add on that <laughs> uh, with my mindset not his so with my <laughs> <laughs> mindset I uh, I thought okay I'll buy a house live in it and that's all I didn't have any plans for it investment but then um, we, we made that first step to go for our first property and uh, um, seeing the good results with you seeing the good results now we are more confident to go for more and uh, I think that's why we're going for the fourth one now um, yeah I, um, I, I it, this has completely changed my mindset from where I was not no more investments to where we are now yeah, and, and I totally agree. So I think initially that was, as Pavitra mentioned, uh, right? So back, we wanted to set the base in India. So we, and it was her dream that, you know, she she has a house and then, you know, have the kids raised in that house uh, and, you know, debt, debt free. Uh, we can have the house paid off and etc. We can, that's pretty much it. But as she mentioned, so I had, I believe in investments and but but the thing is you know what is the direction so how do you get into the right direction there there are multiple directions right so what is the right direction to go with the plans what we have so it might be the similar uh, you know scenario for a lot of people so i would i would sincerely say that you know we need to start uh, you know we need to start as soon as we started with the first one here 
uh, not through the uh, not through the uh, the apartment but from uh, the property which we we bought uh, and the renovation work which we did there so that gave us so much of uh, experience so much of belief and the end result is good cash uh, positive cash flow uh, and capital growth as well so that gave us enough confidence to go to the next you know like the you know buy more properties and yeah luckily you know it's doing well so yeah we are happy yeah. yeah that's good so for you guys it was more of um, the whole the process and the the, the, the results yeah. what um, give you the because i know like you know uh, you know like of course you, for the first time we had a bit of a chat when you buy the first property but then second third you know and even for fourth we just saying sanjeev come buy more buy yeah. more right so so was it like more of the result which made you change the whole belief uh, in a belief system or uh, yeah that that that's what uh, we are seeing the results uh, and uh, uh, like why why not go for more yeah, yeah. If, uh, without uh, without taking the risk uh, we can't do anything so seeing the results now so why not go for more that's that's what we are how about the like now you're not taking more loans is that a good thing oh, or yeah. a bad thing so that's what i said i um, believe in not going into debt just stay where you are that's it but then um, uh, seeing this results you are have uh, your uh, um, loans are getting paid off uh, why not go for more yeah, yeah? without uh, and we have we are watching our numbers right so we're yeah. not um, completely going blind we're watching our numbers and yeah, yeah we had it in right direction yeah and also getting in in uh, in our discussion with the like minded people yeah. uh, that also uh, works wonders uh, sometimes because you know our goals might be something but to achieve that goal we need to th go through some hurdles um so i think we have gone through a few hurdles i think uh, yeah so it's it's not it's not stopping anymore so we 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 would still continue investing so yeah, yeah no it's good like you have goals and now you're sticking to the plan and executing yeah. it because yeah. most of the people uh, struggle with the execution yeah. everyone now can put a goal together but so now uh, that's good um, now you know um, I talk to a lot of people when they interact with us you know they see that sometime uh, you know they think oh I'm paying a fees to a buyer agent you know there is always a objection around that I would say you know the fees uh, is it worth paying the fees um, now you know what you have to add on that like given you have to use our service a couple mm -hmm. of times you know yeah. paying fees and always the process is the same <clears throat> so uh, what do you have to say on that yeah I mean I would say that you know the fees of what uh, a buyer agent like Sanjeev the charge I think it's still worth it like you know uh, there are a number of reasons one is the one of the main reasons is the network the network what you have the the experience what you have uh, the exposure of what you have dev you know uh, what you have as well in terms of um, investing yourself plus your education in the real estate market um, you know that actually that actually you know um and and plus the and the deals what we get um that that sums it up pretty much right so and quite a lot of times the properties which we buy we you know uh, we take time to understand the the suburbs or you understand the you know what is the what is what is a you know how it can be a good investment property so so those are the research things which takes time and experience so uh, based on your network i think i think it's it's to be honest it's no brainer and um, i i feel that it's 100% uh, accounted for um, and it's well worth it and i really don't think about the fees to be honest because you know um, the properties what we have got it's it's always been it's it's been a great properties and the properties what we have seen uh, uh, in a few of our friends have bought you know they are also pretty good as well so and yeah it, it really sums it up so um i really don't think of the fees uh the fees is well worth it uh, guys, uh, for that um now uh, now uh, would you like to share uh, how was your experience you know uh, we've been now working two, good two years yeah um so how was has been the whole experience working with the industry sure um so me being a conservative person and i've always been guided by my elders um, so okay, you need to do this. You need to do that. But here, with this um, 
investment especially here in australia which i don't have any elders to guide me i don't have that somebody to guide me as such um experience with investment investors dream is something which has changed my mindset completely i'm more confident now i can even tell uh, my friends or even i can tell my family my kids as well when they grow up now i'm more confident on um what to do uh that's that's a confidence i've gained from uh, investment investors dream and uh, um yeah I'm, i'm seeing the see i'm always results driven if i don't see anything happening if i don't see uh, nothing coming off from a property i'll not be confident to go for more but with the uh, here uh, we have three properties which are get, getting good results i'm more confident to go for that so that's that's exactly my experience you have changed i you have changed my mindset I, I should say that thank you for that no, no thank you but i know like you know uh, abraham i know he has been always like oh since you let's do it you know yeah. uh, but then you know i know i mean um and i that's what was it all it's like all we have all those inner beliefs and you know which is not ours actually because it's not we get it from our uh, surroundings right yeah. family parents friends yeah. you know so i think now it's it's good that you're sharing that uh, so now thanks pavitra i think uh, avram uh, you, you wanted to add few things or how was your experience yeah absolutely uh, brilliant um i think even though um me being a little bit of uh less conservative as pavitra uh and i'm more eager in in terms of investing but the experience was low so the amount of uh, the the confidence was low after we did the investment in the apartments the confidence was a bit low i think going uh, buying a property from you know through you the and the experience and the, and the and the renovation we did the renovation as well in the first property um i think that gave us a uh, heaps of experience and in a in a period of one year we have seen you know it, the first of all from right from day one after the renovation was done you know the it was always a, po- the, a positive cash flow uh, property in terms of rent at the current market in, uh, in this current market right so but we have seen the capital growth as well in the period of one year so we have seen you know it's grown by 20% for example so yeah so it's it's been a great learning experience uh, yeah no, thank you no um so i think um uh, next is like you know um i just wanted to talk about like you bought three properties through us now what what these properties are like the apartment houses brand new existing what what sort of property they are you know and and highlight like the numbers as well i would say yeah yeah, yeah. so the, yeah so the first property which we bought uh um that's that's uh, all the three properties uh our house um and they are good land size uh you know it's not a new property the first one we bought we it was a bit old property but we did the renovation so um so then the the look and feel of the house was brilliant after that and the results are there in the, you know to show um and the second property is very close to the, the coastal uh side um and it's a it's a big uh, land size and it's got some prospects as well uh and also the i need to also mention about the first property that you know it's it's also falls under the business zoning which i don't think so i would have done it uh i would have known it and i wouldn't have researched that level so it's a it's it's a bonus for me that you know that's that's one of the bonus which i take it from from the experience and the sec- the second property is a big uh it's also another uh, house uh it's near it's in the coastal region so it's got good cash flow um and and it's a positive cash flow and the capital growth we have seen it's grown um in the last uh i think as soon as I, we settled the property i think in 3 months i think it's grown by 15% or 20% roughly which is which is huge uh, in this current market i think which is huge the third property is uh is also a uh, house independent house with a good land size a good renovated house immediately the cash flow it's 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 positive it's high positive cash flow uh, so i'm really really proud of the three properties we have bought from you and uh, yeah thanks to you yeah <laughs> no our pleasure uh, abram so and how is the capital growth in the on the first property now given it's already 2 years yeah the, i think i would say about 30% 30% uh, 30% on the first property it's been to, uh, it's been roughly about 2 years since it's uh, completed uh, the settlement and the renovate, renovation is done 
So, but the, the property which we bought last year, um, the, um, I think it's uh, the, uh, the the capital growth is roughly about fifteen percent, um, and the third one is we just uh, we just got it settled. And one more point is around the uh, the cash flow, right? So uh, the overall, I would say, on an average, each property, uh, um, it's about five thousand per year. So from the three properties which which we have got, it's about fifteen thousand, and it's self sustained houses. So less risk and it's it it can you know self sustain over a period of time yeah no i agree i mean see um and that's the game people don't understand you know um that and, and they don't understand that you know uh it's it's cash flow is required and then yeah. of course we need capital to do that as well but then you know you can't compromise on the cash flow yeah. uh there was this talk you know and we can't move on it's not the best place or best game to play uh, I think your cash flow. I think the first property was a little lower cash flow. Yeah. I think it's I think around three thousand dollars. But yeah. then your third one is around eight thousand yeah. dollars. I think pretty much set and forget yeah. with including your principal. Uh, but then overall, you have all the threes around fifteen to thousand, which is quite impressive, yeah. right? And uh, I think uh, and I think especially the second one. I think we got a good fifteen percent capital in three months, yeah. which was which is pretty was, which was amazing because I think um, we got at a very good price. Yeah. And then of course the market moved and yeah. it, it it supported um uh, well I think so. Uh, that's good. Um now given you have bought one I mean you bought one apartment, sold it, I think recently you sold it, and now I have got good three investment properties. Um you know a lot of people uh, think that buying three properties even not possible mm. um, or no um, or maybe it's, it's it doesn't happen so, uh, something like that so what do you have to say for those people who think you know yeah uh, we are very average people working uh, IT professionals having two little kids but the question is if you don't invest now when will you do that so we definitely have to take risk now uh, fair point kids are going uh, old Parents are growing old. This is the best time uh, for investment. Go for it. I think um, uh, whatever mindset you have, keep it behind and then uh, go for it. That's what. That's what I think it should happen. Yeah. Yeah. And, you, uh, sorry. Yeah. No. No. Uh, I think um, if people who think that three or four is not possible, right? If you need to start with the first one mm -hmm. and have the right mind, uh, you know, have have the right mind in terms of you know. Talk to people who have done it. If you're serious about buying, uh, and if serious about your portfolio, make you know making or drawing your portfolio, you need to start. Mm -hmm. So unless you st don't, uh, unless you start, you wouldn't know. So I think that is a key. Once you start, it's uh, we are a perfect example. So we just started. We saw the uh, results that gave us the uh, booster, that gave us the confidence. And now we are eager to sign, uh, do the fifth one. Although we have signed up for the fourth one, we are eager for the fifth one. So that's how uh, future planning we are. We have, you know, the confidence is given us to do that future planning. Yeah, no, I think uh, I agree with you. I think, uh, yeah, once you do the first one, taking a baby step. Yeah. You know, like when I was building my own property portfolio, I was like, okay, let's do it well. Mm. Um, you know, uh, so that you have the right foundation. Yeah. Take a baby step. Uh, you know, everyone financials are different, goals are different, but you know, take baby step, learn, uh, you know, and then are willing to take risk as well. I mean, there's risk to everything, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but I think uh, my, my, my feeling is like not taking action is the biggest risk. Yeah. So, you know, why not take, you know, and, and yeah, that's why, you know, you work with other people are smarter, like I'm surrounded mm -hmm. by much smarter people yeah. uh, in my, my uh, you know, personal journey as well. And now I know where I'm you. You promote even Pavitra, you, uh, you know, uh, you have referred so many friends and then even they are getting very good results yeah, yeah. and you know, it's just uh, uh, the, the ripple effect, right? Uh, you, you're promoting you and helping other, yeah. your friends and of course we can't help everyone, but you know, uh, they have to make the choice and the decision yeah. for themselves. Okay. Uh, but when we take action, it, it is a ripple effect. So exactly. now well done. What do you have to uh, say for your well-wishers, you know, uh, who are, uh, you know, close your heart and uh, or even for someone who's looking out oh, should I start investing property or not uh, what do you have to say for them oh, I'll just say be brave be confident <laughs> go for it yeah. start with the baby step go for one and then uh, you'll not stop that's what I've done I think everybody uh, should go for it that's what I think yeah I think she summed it up 
pretty much okay. I start with one and i've seen so many people they've started with one being hesitant at the start now they've already signed up three or four uh, to you so and um, we have signed up as well so we are, we are really happy um i would say that you know start with start yeah. with the first one if you have not started if you want to start start with the first one awesome now thank you so much i i really appreciate and i really enjoyed this chatting with you both i think pleasure yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much